Okay, when two objects with different mass and shapes are released from rest in vacuum, so there's no air, which one will hit the ground first? They'll both hit the ground at the same time because they'll both have the same acceleration. On the surface of the Earth, it's 9.81 meters per second squared. Okay, what happens if the object is falling through air? So initially, the acceleration of both objects will still be minus 9.81. But as it starts to fall through the air, there's going to be collisions between the air particles and the object, and this is going to exert a drag force in the opposite direction to the direction in which they're moving. So in this case, the drag force is going to be upwards, and this is because of the collisions. And as the speed of the objects increases, the air resistance also increases. And eventually, the air resistance will balance the weight and the object will reach a terminal velocity. Uh, because the paper has a lower weight, and also because the paper has a larger surface area, you'll find that the paper is going to reach terminal velocity, a lower terminal velocity, and at an earlier point in time. In this question, we have two A4 pieces of paper. One is flat and the other one is scrunched up, and they're going to be released from rest. So which one will hit the ground first? So firstly, they both have the same weight because they both have the same mass, so they have the same weight, mg. And as they start to fall, it's going to be air resistance on both of them. But because the scrunched up ball has a smaller surface area, it's going to have less air resistance on it for the same speed. So as they start to fall, you see that the, air, um, the weight of the flat piece of paper is balanced first. So this one now has reached its terminal velocity. So it's not going to accelerate anymore. And but however, the scrunched up one is still accelerating, so it's going to be able to reach a higher velocity before, eventually, it will reach a terminal velocity, but it will reach a higher one and, and later on. Okay, in this question, you have two balls of the same shape but different masses uh, released from rest. So let's say this is 5 kilograms. <clears throat> let's say this is 10 kilograms. So I've drawn it, you can see the weight arrow for the purple one is bigger. And as they start to fall, they'll accelerate. So initially, uh, they'll accelerate at minus 9.81. But as you can see, the acceleration is going to be different. This one's going to have a bigger acceleration now because it's got a bigger resultant force downwards. While this one, the resultant force on it is not as large at the moment. So it's, its acceleration is still going to accelerate down, but not as much. Eventually, the green one is going to reach at, um, terminal velocity first because now the force with the weight and the areas are balanced while the purple one is still accelerating so it's able to reach a much higher velocity before it also reaches terminal velocity okay in this question you have a projectile being fired at an angle and the question is what is the effect of air resistance on the path of this projectile so firstly the air resistance will always act in the opposite direction to the motion so in this case it will be like this direction over here at the top because it's going horizontally, the air isn't going to be in that direction. And when it's falling here, the air resistance will be in this direction. The air resistance is largest where the a part, a particle object is moving the fastest. So at the beginning, it's moving quite fast, so the air resistance is going to be quite large. And towards the end, where it's also moving quite fast, it's going to be um, quite large. While at the top here, air resistance is going to be smaller, but it's still going to be there as well. The total effect will be to firstly decrease the maximum height reached so you can see there's a difference in the height and also the height is reached at an earlier uh, point horizontal distance so there so you've got a lower height you can see the distance that it's landed it hasn't gone as far so there's that difference in the distance well but however what the thing that is same is that the initial path initial trajectory is still the same 